Hello and welcome to the next tutorial in making a platforming game in Scratch. So today we're going to learn how to get another sprite imported and it's going to be some spikes and if you jump on the spikes you will um, trigger a game over event and it will go to a game over screen. So let's look at how we do that. So first off we need to have some spikes. So we're going to come up here to upload spike sprite and here you can see I've already downloaded some sprites that I'm going to use so I got these off Google and this one I cut around the spikes just like I showed you in an earlier tutorial and then I copied them over so I had a row of them and then I ended up with what you'll see next so this is our spikes now very similar to how we did our gravity we're going to do some collision detection against the color gray because that is the predominant color of the top of the spikes. So what we're going to do is create some new blocks. So we're going to say when green flag clicked and we need a forever again and no prizes for guessing we're going to need an if again and we're going to say if touching there we go and touch in color that will do nicely and then if you remember from the previous tutorial we can use this eyedropper tool and we can zoom right in on this little gray color here and that will now trigger if we're touching gray anywhere across here so then we need to decide you know what's going to happen now you can do something quite clever in scratch called a broadcast now you'll find broadcast under events and we're going to have broadcast now in your case you won't have a game over thing here it will just be new message and in here you will write whatever you want but I've chosen game over because it makes sense this is what we want to do if we want to have game over so now you're going to need something to receive your game over and in this case we're going to have a new backdrop which will be like the game over screen so we'll need to import a new backdrop and as you can see I've already downloaded a game over sort of backdrop and there's loads of these you can find on Google Images not difficult to find so grab yourself one of those Now, as you can see at the moment it doesn't fill the screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and then what I can do is I can drag it out to fill the whole screen and then just need to make it a bit bigger this way it's going to stretch it out a little bit but for the sake of this tutorial it's absolutely fine there we go so we now have our game over screen so that's that so the next thing we need to do is come over to the code section now when the game starts we obviously don't want this game over screen to be there so we can say when green flag clicked go to looks and we can say um, we can hide uh, well we can set the backdrop to and then we choose our first screen which is backdrop one so that will mean that when we click that we start off with this clear screen however we also want to happen that if it receives the game over broadcast which will happen if we sort of stand on these spikes we want to switch to the game over backdrop like so so if we now check it works so if I'm going to run into these spikes boom game over now there's a couple of other things you need to make sure you have in place. Now what you want in here is when green flag clicked show and when I receive game over hide. We'll come on to this one in the next tutorial. So these two for now will make sure that this sprite hides when the game over screen comes up and then we need to make sure we've got the same in here. So for now these two. Um, when green flag click show so the spike show and then when it receives game over hide and then for your sprite figure as well you'll need the same thing so when green flag clicks and we want to obviously show because beginning of the game you want your character to appear and then you'll need under control when I receive game over there it is you want to hide the character that's under looks there we go so hide so now if we play the game what should happen is I run forward jump on those spikes and boom we have the game over screen if we restart the game we're back 
So that's it for today. Thank you for listening. And next tutorial, I'll show you how to duplicate these platforms. So I'll add another platform in here and we'll actually add another level onto the game so we can progress in our game. Thanks for listening today and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.